Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers Virtual College Fair. We thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time throughout the session. Your camera and microphone are turned off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening tonight, so please be sure to sign up for more. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at strivescan.com slash Carolinas. I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter of the evening, Chowan University. Hi. My name is Anna Yor, and I am an admissions counselor here at Chowan University, as well as our campus visit coordinator. Um, so I'm going to get started. I can. So, like I said, my name is Anna. Um, my email is Anna at Chowan.edu, um, and I'd really like to thank you guys for being here today. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Chowan and what we have to offer. So about us, um, we are a very small school. We have about 1,200 students on campus currently. Um, so that gives us a lot of small class sizes. It also gives us individualized attention from the professors. So you really get that one-on-one -on -one feel um, and the professors know you by name. Um, we also are a faith-based university. We don't ask that you have to be a faith um, or have a faith of any type because um, we are definitely inclusive um, and we open our campus to any and everyone. Um, we are definitely dedicated to our students. We want to see our students, you know, really succeed um, and be the best that they can be and also be very successful as soon as they leave here from Chowan. So that is something that we definitely pride ourselves in um, here at Chowan. With our academics, we have over 70 different majors. Um, some of our most popular majors on campus are our criminal justice, um, our education uh, majors, our graphic communication majors, biology, um, business administration. Um, so we definitely have a lot to offer the students. Um, if you are interested in possibly starting your own business or you're interested in going into the FBI, or anything like that, we can definitely get you started here at Chowan. Um, we also pride ourselves on hands-on learning. So you really get that um, experience in the real world, but you also get to do it. Not only are you taught it, but you actually get to do it yourself. So that's a big thing. And some of our um, students that we've had um, come through here, alum, we have a vice president of the Charlotte Hornets. We have a scout with the Atlanta Falcons, FBI agents. We of course have our teachers because who, who can't do anything without teachers? Um, and then of course, you know, assistant DAs, just to name a few. We also have our campus ministry. Um, we are very active in the community as well as internationally. Um, of course, with COVID, we can't really do a whole lot of traveling at the time, but we definitely have a lot of stuff planned for traveling. I know that our campus minister is in contact with um, South African Orphanage, who has been wanting us to come over there for quite a while now. So that is definitely something um, that we are looking into. We are service-based. We like to serve our community and our surrounding students um, and families as well. Um, with student life, we have a lot of stuff going on. We have our Greek life. We have SGA who actually just hosted a block party this past weekend where the students got to go outside um, in our park and enjoy bouncy houses, all the fun stuff that students haven't been able to enjoy um, lately, but so they were able to go out and do that. Um, we have Murph's, which is our on-campus um, restaurant. Um, of course, we have the CAF with many different delicious options. Um, and then we also have our housing options, which includes White's Cross, which is our suites and apartments. We also have ping pong, pool, um, bingo. We have our large checkerboards. We have our large chess pieces, Jenga, all of that kind of stuff. So we definitely have a lot that um, the students can get into as far as campus life and student life. 
Our athletics, we have about 21 um, different athletic programs. We are, for football, we are a member of the CIAA. Um, we are more competitive in that conference. So that's the conference that we stuck to with football. And then the rest of our conference is the Conference Carolinas. Um, we have volleyball, esports, acro and tumbling, softball, swimming, women's bowling, just to name a few. So we have a lot of different athletic teams that students can become a part of um, and really get to be a proud Chowan supporter of our athletics. We also have our scholarships and financial aid. So when you first get accepted into Chowan, you are awarded our merit-based scholarship based on your GPA alone. So you can earn up to, or you can get up to an, um, $9,000 just based off of your GPA. And then we also offer our Chowan Scholarship Days. We offer three of those where you can earn up to an additional $6,000 just by interviewing and kind of hyping yourself up, selling yourself to our interviewers um, and just really telling them all about what you can offer Chowan. Um, we also have our free application for federal student aid. Um, that's definitely important to fill that out so that way you can earn more money for school. Um, and of course, you'll see the chowan.edu slash scholarships down there. We do offer outside scholarships um, as well that Chowan does recognize. And then of course, when it comes to visiting campus, we have our campus tours. Um, we do a personal visit, we are open with the pandemic. So we have been going inside our residence halls and everything like that. Mondays through Fridays, um, we offer them at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. And then on Saturdays, we do offer it at 10 p.m., uh, 10 a.m., not 10 p.m. <laughs> but um, at 10 a.m., we also have our CU preview day as well, um, which will include campus tour, lunch, interest, um, and academic fair, and then uh, financial aid meeting. And we also, of course, have our SOAR for our students who have been accepted and are attending Chowan. So that just kind of gives you a registration piece. And of course, you guys can go and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And we also have um, our TikTok and Twitter. So you guys be sure to follow us. Thanks, Anna. Next up, we are going to hear from Lenore Ryan University. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us here tonight. Um, you should be able to see my screen here in just a little bit. Um, to learn just a little bit more about Lenore Ryan, my name is Shayla. I am the Assistant Director for Undergraduate Admission here at LR. Um, and I am really excited that I get to speak to you just a little bit more about what there is um, and what we're all about. So um, just some quick fast facts is that um, we have about 1,954 students on campus. Um, and then that includes everything. So undergrad students, graduate students as well. So if you're big into um, graduate school plans, then that's something you can definitely continue here at LR. Um, our uh, total student population actually um, with, with our graduate students is a 3,058. Um, we do have three campuses, which a lot of people aren't aware of, but our main campus is located in Hickory, North Carolina. Um, we have our student to teacher ratio of 12 to 1, and our average class size is 17. So very much like my colleague prior to me, we have the small class sizes and very individualized um, type of learning. Um, our admission process is very simple. So uh, minimum GPA is a 2.75. Um, our average GPA that our students will bring in is a 3.4. Um, we are test optional with our ACT and SAT scores, um, as well as with resume, personal statements, and letters of recommendation. Um, and that just means that we don't have any essays you have to complete um, as part of our admission process. Um, if you are here with us today and interested in applying um, to LR, our fee waiver code is LR Priority 21, and this way you wouldn't have to pay the $35 fee. So just make sure to write that down and, and put that on your list for whenever you are ready to apply. Um, we are a liberal arts institution, um, and you can learn about all of our academics right on our website, um, but uh, it's lr.edu forward slash academics. And um, we have 50 plus undergraduate programs. Um, the top programs are anything in nursing, sciences, um, education, business, and arts. And following that very quickly are anything in 
um, our, our health sciences, uh, so exercise science, um, we have our psychology music majors as well, criminal justice. Um, and then, like I said, uh, something very popular amongst actually most of these programs are actually our graduate studies where we have a fast track program and in five years you graduate with your bachelor's degree and your master's degree from LR. Um, talking a little bit more about beyond the classroom. So if you look um, to the right hand side of your screen, you'll see right there the beyond the classroom section. And of course, athletics are a big part of who we are. Um, we have over 22 different programs. We are a division two school. Um, and if you're not thinking about playing competitively, that is completely fine. Um, we also have our intramural sports for any student that just wants to play for fun. Um, and then of course, like if you are interested in playing, um, then I would just recommend that you go hop on our website. Our athletic website is lrbears.com. All of our coach information is on there as well as our recruitment questionnaires. Um, and go ahead, fill out the questionnaire and get on their recruiting list. Um, our coaches are also in, uh, in charge of deciding um, any type of athletic aid. So that could be beneficial. Um, as a private school, we, we do have the ability to give our students more financial aid. Um, and we just have a large endowment that allows us to do that for our students. And 99% of our students do receive help for financial aid. Um, and additionally, we have the LR Promise, which guarantees any LR, or, sorry, any North Carolina student who has a 3.5 GPA or above, um, LR will guarantee that you will have at least 50% of your tuition covered for in scholarship. So um, that's something um, that, like I said, we're really happy to be able to do for our students. Um, going back to beyond the classroom opportunities, we do have honor societies, um, undergraduate research opportunities, study abroad, which is really popular here on campus, um, media and arts opportunities, student clubs and or organizations, um, and of course our support and wellness services. Now all of these services um, are at no additional cost. Um, any of these opportunities actually, we don't um, have any type of student activity fees or any type of co-payments that you have to, to do to be able to access um, any of these. Basically just carry around your LR student ID and that will grant you access to anything that you need on campus. Um, if we don't have an organization that you are fond of, then you're welcome to create your own. And I think that's something that our students really enjoy here on campus that they are able to just create their own things, um, be backed up by professors. So for example, one of our um, most popular clubs now is our esports team and they, they do play competitively against different universities. Um, and that one was backed up by now one of our graduates, um, but he was working with one of our professors who was super into video games. Um, they took over a area on campus that nobody was utilizing, which just happened to be the basement of our student center. Um, so super funny. And they took that over, set it up, and now it's one of our most popular sports, or sorry, esports um, teams. And then, um, of course, if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead, do that. Um, you'll find all of our contact information right here on this slide. Um, feel free to uh, give us a call, shoot us an email if you have any questions about LR. Um, and you can follow us on social media as well. We have our Instagram, Facebook, and Zemi. If you don't know about Zemi, it's just a social media platform for different universities and we're active on there. And you can also chat with some of our current students. So thank you so much. Thanks, Shayla. Next up, we are gonna hear from Syracuse University. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hear a little bit more about Syracuse University. My name is Jessica Calhoun. I am the assistant director here at Syracuse University. Um, this is our home. This is our Syracuse University campus. Um, you can just see such beautiful architecture. One of my favorite things about the campus is just we have buildings dating back from the 1800s to buildings that are less than a year old. And as you can 
can see from this photo here, a brand new roof on our dome, which is our, our stadium, holds about 60,000 people, one of the biggest uh, campus stadiums uh, in the NCAA, very proud of that. Um, so welcome, welcome, and I'm excited to talk to you about the various opportunities that we have here at Syracuse University. So Syracuse University is a mid-size institution. We have about 15,000 undergraduate students comprised in our 10 different schools and colleges. Um, of those 10 schools and colleges, they have 200 majors and 100 different minors. So you, we really have everything from a more liberal arts uh, institution to a college of engineering, computer science, a school of information studies, a school of architecture, and a very well-known uh, Newhouse School of Public Communications. If anybody knows Bob Costas or Mike Tirico, they are two of our amazing alums in the Newhouse School. Um, so if you've ever wanted to be a sports broadcaster, the Newhouse School of of public communications is a great place for you. Um, we also have a very well well known uh, musical theater program within our College of Visual and Performing Arts. So there is something really for everyone at Syracuse University. We know that not everybody knows at 15, 16, 17, 18 years old what you want to do for the rest of your life. And so we give you the opportunity to uh, really figure that out while you're here on campus. Uh, you can see those asterisks. Those are programs that you can actually apply undecided. So say you're really interested in architecture um, or you're really interested in, I'm sorry, engineering and you don't know, do I want to do chemical engineering? Do you want to do aerospace, mechanical, electrical? What's really, what, what's, what am I really interested in? Uh, you can apply undecided into the College of Engineering and Computer Science and figure out which uh, engineering program makes the most sense for you. Um, and so within those 10 schools and colleges, each school and college has their own academic and career advisor because what you need to be um, working on Broadway is very different than what you need to be an IT professional or to go be a politician or to be an architect. Those are very individualized programs. And so we want you to have that in individualized advising as well as those career research, uh, resources for internships, co-ops and uh, various ways to get that real life experience. Experience. Um, you'd think with 15,000 undergraduate students that the campus would feel huge and imposing, but it really doesn't. Um, it never really feels like there's 15,000 students on our campus, maybe on game day when you know, there's 30,000 or 40,000 people on campus for our, our, bas our division one basketball or football games or lacrosse games. But um, within that large university, we have that small campus feel. So um, our average class size is about 20 six students and our student to faculty ratio is 15 to 1. Um, along with all of those opportunities, we are an R1 research institution. There is a Carnegie classification of institutions and much like Division I sports, R1 is the highest um, research university of, of that Carnegie classification, which means our undergraduate students, our graduate students, our faculty and staff are all involved in research in some way, shape or form. And we have an undergraduate department called Source that is there specifically for undergraduate students to help with faculty mentors, research funding, um, and a lot of different ways for our students to access those research opportunities. Um, I will be remiss if I don't talk about study abroad. One of my very favorite uh, things to talk about are study abroad opportunities. Syracuse is top ranked in study abroad opportunities. About 50% about of our students study abroad at some point during their academic career. We do have five campuses overseas, London, Madrid, Strasbourg, France, Florence, Italy, and Santiago, Chile. But if you don't want to st study abroad at one of those locations, we partner with other, over 60 institutions and you can really go anywhere you want to go in the world. A little bit about life on campus. I'm trying to talk fast, so bear with me. Uh, our students come from all over the country and all over the world. So our students are from all 50 states and more than 170 different countries. Um, the vast majority of our students come from outside of the state of New York. Um, and most of our students are from New York, are actually from New York City area. And so most of, almost everybody on campus is the new student on campus. 
We have over 300 different clubs and organizations. So a lot of different ways to get involved on campus, whether that's Greek life, professional organizations, intramural sports, community service, uh, philanthropic, religious, cultural, anything you want. Those are uh, opportunities for you with our student organizations. We have just remodeled our barn center at the Arch, which is our health and wellness service. You can see the rock wall there uh, in one of those photos, uh, a new addition. I haven't gotten to use it yet. I'm kind of bummed. I'm ready. Um, but there's um, the health services, counseling services, the pet therapy room, um, the Olympic sized swimming pool, um, and just a lot of different options to make sure that our students are staying um, healthy both mentally and physically on campus. And lastly, um, we are here to help. Um, this is my contact information. I'm also going to throw some information in the chat. So if you have any questions about Syracuse, anything you want to know more, please reach out to me directly. Would love to connect with you. And thank you so much for learning more about SU and Go Orange. Thanks, Jessica. Next up, we are going to hear from William Peace University. All right, thank you very much. Um, I hope everyone can see uh, my screen. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, my name is Ryan Killay. I'm a senior admissions counselor here at William Peace University. Um, we're located in downtown Raleigh, which I'm gonna get into in a little bit um, because that is so much about us, but I'd be re remiss to, to start talking about William Peace without talking about our close knit community. Uh, we're a smaller institution, even smaller than some of my other colleagues talked about earlier. We have about 900 total students, uh, 700 of our traditional, our traditional undergraduate students who live on campus, commute to campus, have classes during the days. We also have about 200 students um, who are part of our school professional studies. Um, so those are more working adults who are even students who just want to finish a degree a little bit faster because it is they take a lot more credits, get things done a little bit faster. So we have some students who are 18 years old in that program some who are 48 years old in that program, um, but we really do want to help our, our students out. Going off of that, um, it is a place where everyone will know your name. Um, you see we have a 12 to 1 uh, student faculty ratio. Sorry, I, I messed that up a little bit in my, in my PowerPoint. Um, and it really is a place where you can talk to your professor at any time. Um, our students drop by our professor's offices at all out at all hours of the day. They text them, they call them, um, and our professors want to get to know people as well. Um, they want to write letters of recommendation. They want to help our students get internships, um, and they want to help our students succeed and really move on in their careers. Um, going on, going off of that, we also are immersive learning focused. And what immersive learning is is you learn by doing. Um, one of our great projects that we've done on campus over the past 30 years um, is a study into Crabtree Creek pollution. Our students in our biology majors and environmental science majors, and even some of our freshmen who just work in, um, in, in taking the, the basic biology course as freshmen, they go to Crabtree Creek, they get water samples, soil samples, fish samples, they check them, and then they report the data to the um, government. So that's really a big part of who we are. Going off of that, every student will either complete some type of research, uh, student teaching, if you're in teaching, or an internship. It is one of our requirements for graduating, and our students go on to a lot of different uh, internships. Some work with the State Bureau of Investigation in North Carolina. Um, others will work with Epic Games, and I'll get more into that in a little bit uh, because that is really big. Um, and being located in downtown Raleigh really helps with that, with those different focuses. We've got a great relationship with Wake County Public Schools, one of the largest school districts in North Carolina. Um, all of our students are able to get into those schools. And we even had one student this past year who was asked to graduate early so that they could start teaching right away to fill in at the end of the semester. Um, and, you know, going off of Epic Games, uh, being located in North Carolina, it leads to our, we're ranked as the number one best game design college in North Carolina. Um, we have that. We also have esports management as one of our majors. Um, and it really shows a lot about our majors because we're trying to prepare students for careers of tomorrow. Um, I know there's a stat that says in 10 years, 
25% uh, of the jobs then will not have been created yet. And we want our students ready for those opportunities. Um, that's why simulation and game design is such, such a big part of who we are. We've got a great lab um, and all of our students are creating not just video games, but they're also creating virtual reality simulations that go on the Oculus store. Um, now a little bit about our rolling admissions process. Um, we do, we are open right now and we're open year round. Um, we've had students come in who just, something fell through at another school in late July and we helped them find a place to, to land. Um, and we really do go with a holistic approach. Going back to the close-knit community, we care more about the individual than the number. Um, we do work with a 2.5 um, unweighted GPA, but we also want to know more about someone. Uh, we're uh, test optional this year. We switched that and because of the pandemic, and we know a lot of students are not able to take a test, and that's why we have it that way. Uh, a great part of that is our merit-based scholarships, which is up to $16,000 a year, um, are judged off of either your GPA or a test if you were able to take it. So we kind of work with you what you did best. Uh, we know that test scores don't really show everything about a student, um, and, and that's why we work that way. We also have 18 Division Three athletic teams, and we play at some of the nicest facilities in the, honestly, in the state. Um, our baseball team plays at the USA Baseball Complex in Cary, North Carolina. Our men's and women's soccer teams, as well as our men's and women's lacrosse teams, play at Wake Med Soccer Park. Um, they play at stadiums that host the NCAA tournament, the ACC tournament. Um, so they're outstanding facilities that are just a short drive away from campus. With us being located in downtown Raleigh, it's, there's not as much space on campus. So that's why we partner with these amazing facilities to work that way. Um, and like everyone else, we do offer need-based scholarships through the FAFSA. Always encourage people to reach, to fill that out and we'll be able to help. Um, so there's our information below. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ryan. Next up, we are gonna hear from Gardner Webb University. Hey everyone, so my name is Hope and I do work at Gardner Webb University. Um, I am a 2018 grad, uh, so just a, a recent grad. And so um, I'm just gonna kind of share a little bit about Gardner Webb. Um, so our motto at Gardner Webb is to go all in. Um, that comes from our university's verse in Mark chapter 12, says the greatest commandment is this, to love the Lord to God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Um, so we try to live that out each and every day between faculty, staff, and students. Um, it's just a great reminder to whatever you're doing, whether that is your friendships, your extracurriculars, your schoolwork, uh, your, your faith, just to go all in. Um, so I'm going to kind of just briefly touch on the heart, soul, mind, and strength of Gardner-Webb, um, but just for a little bit of orientation. Um, so we are located in Boiling Springs, North Carolina. Um, it's a one-stop white town. I am originally from Florida, and so I came up to, to Boiling Springs just because of our community. It's very, very close-knit. Everybody's very supportive, um, very family-oriented, um, and I just never felt homesick or was, was sad to be away from home. So we are in a one stop light town, um, but we're about 45 minutes to an hour in between three very different major cities. So in between Asheville, Charlotte, and Greenville, um, and then about three and a half to four hours in between Raleigh and Charleston. Um, and some of our students will go to like the Outer Banks or Hilton Head for spring break. So um, we have a little bit of everything. You have the mountains, the city, the, the um, kind of more touristy areas, um, but then also you can come back home and just sleep in your own bed um, in that one stop light town. So the first part of that first is to go in with all of your heart. Um, so we said the heart of our, our of Garden Web is our community. Um, and I can definitely attest to that. I just think it's a super supportive um, environment. College can be kind of stressful and hard and you're, you're learning a lot about yourself and how to be on your own. And so this is a great place to kind of figure all of that out. Um, and I think the best way to kind of find your people, find your community um, is to get involved. So we have over 60 clubs and organizations on campus um, that range from things like the psychology and business club to things more like the hiking, biking, we have an equestrian club, um, which is all kind of across the board. Um, and very similar to other universities here that you can start your own. Um, I actually started a women's ministry on campus my sophomore year. Um, that was back in 2015, um, and that, that club is still active on campus today. So Garden Web kind of allows you to kind of create and foster that community um, that you are looking for. Um, and then we also have our student activities office um, that they just do a great job of making sure that there is stuff to do outside of studying, outside of going to the library. Um, 
which I'll kind of touch on it a little bit later. Um, but the second part of that verse is to go to all of your soul. Um, so Garden Web is a Baptist affil affiliated university. Um, with that being said, you don't have to be a Baptist or a Christian or a believer to come to Gardner Web. Um, we do want all of our students' walks to be encouraged while they're here. Um, so we have a couple things in place to make sure that that happens. Um, each student does have to take a new and old, old Testament class, um, which is less of a Bible study and kind of more of the historical context behind the Bible. So where were they when this event happened? Who wrote this book? Why did they write this book? Um, that type of thing. And then everything else is kind of up to you. So um, we have a ton of ways to kind of serve our local community. We do about 10 mission trips each year. Um, I kind of touched on this earlier, but we have a, a ton of men and ton of men and women's ministries like the one that I started um, on campus. So just a really great way to kind of grow in your faith and grow alongside um, people uh, with your walk with the Lord. So the third part is to go with all of your minds. So obviously that'll be our, our academics. We have about 1600 students on campus and over 60 areas of study. Um, so that gives us a 13 to one student faculty ratio. Um, our biggest and uh, probably the program that we're most proud of is our nursing program. Um, and that comes from our NCLEX pass rate. Um, so the NCLEX is the board exam that you do have to take to become a registered nurse. Um, and so for the last six years, we've had 100% pass rate on that exam um, on each student's first try. So they've been able to, to go out and um, get a job straight out of that test um, and not have to waste too much time um, and money studying and taking that test. The last part is going in with all of your strengths. So we are an NCAA Division I institution. Uh, we have 22 Division I sports teams. Um, and I truly, truly love our, our sporting environment just because it is the highest level of competition. We are uh, Division I, but it's also that very intimate sporting environment. So you know who you're cheering for and the athletes know who's cheering for them. Um, you're going to school with them. You're going to class with them. Midnight cookout runs, procrastinating, like all of that. You're doing all of that with them. Um, it's just a really special kind of um, environment that you don't always get. So I know a big part of every student's college decision is going to be paying for it. So we do also, uh, also offer merit scholarships based off of GPA. Um, and this ranges from $5,000 to $18,000 every year. Um, and then we have our two top scholarships. Uh, the Tucker Scholarship is just character-based. So you don't have to have a specific G GPA or have a specific talent um, to be nominated for this. And we also have our Ignite Excellence Scholarship, um, which is merit-based. Um, Tucker is a full ride, full comprehensive scholarship. And then Ignite Excellence is full tuition. So as far as our admissions timeline, so we do have rolling admissions, so we don't have any deadlines. You can decide to come to Gardner Web two weeks before classes start, and we can get you in. Um, our application is free, it's online, then there's no essay, and we are also test optional. So all we need is that high school transcript and a completed application um, to get you accepted and get you moving forward through the rest of the process. Um, we also suggest that you file the FAFSA just to get as much um, possible aid um, from the state and from the government just to, to make school more affordable for you. We are also on social media. Um, uh, we are most active on our Instagram and I'd also like to just shout out our YouTube channel. So when our 20, in 2019, our men's basketball team went to the NCAA tournament. Um, and so there is a documentary on YouTube. So if you guys want a little bit of a look into our sporting environment, um, that is a great way to go. Um, we played Virginia in the first round and it was insane. It was so fun. Um, so definitely check out that documentary um, on YouTube. And then you guys, we are also on Zimi, so you can scan that QR code um, and find our Zimi page and just kind of chat with current students, prospective students, maybe meet some people, find your roommate. Um, and then you can also text this number to GWU um, and get some additional information from us. Um, and my contact information is also down on the bottom if y'all have any questions. I would love to chat with you, whether it's about Gardner Web or just the college you know, process in general. Just let me know how I can help. Thank you, Hope. And last but not least, we are gonna hear from Champlain College. Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Kingsley. I use she, her pronouns and I'm working on sharing my screen. And I am one of the admissions counselors here at Champlain. Thank you all so much for joining us this evening. And without further ado, just kind of talking about Champlain overall, we have about 2,100 students here on campus and that is the size we plan on staying. Average class size is about 16 to 17 students. So you really get to know people within your classes, but also throughout your major and the entire school as well. We do have com students coming from across the country and internationally as well. And we are located right in Burlington, Vermont, which has been named one of America's number one college towns. It would not be a Champlain College presentation without talking about our upside down curriculum. So what this means is every single student starts in their major from day one on campus. 
So if you know exactly what you want to study, perfect hands-on experience all four years. You're in that major right away, building the skill set that you need in order to go out and get internships, but also you're confirming that this is the right program for you. However, maybe you come to Champlain and you thought you knew exactly what you wanted to study, but once you're in the classroom, you realize it's not quite the right fit for you. You can still change your major and graduate within that four-year time frame. And like some of my colleagues here have said, we know that you may not know what you want to study yet, and that is completely okay as well. You can come to Champlain as an undeclared student, take a sample of classes for your first semester or even your first year, and then choose what you're going to major in. So wherever you are in the process, we will meet you there and make sure to get you on the right path. And thinking about our different majors at Champlain, we have four different schools and divisions that all of them break down into. And unfortunately, I'm not able to go over every single major during this presentation. So if you're watching this recording later on, I would encourage you to pause it and read through our list of programs. And I would encourage everyone to head over to our website because we list the entire curriculum, including course descriptions for every single one of our majors. So you can see what you would be studying and decide if it's a good fit for you. A few programs I do wanna make sure to highlight is we do have the game studio, which is comprised of five different majors including game art, game design, game programming, game production management, and game sound design. We also have a lot of tech-based programs, everything from applied mathematics to cybersecurity and some data science in there, a lot of education and human studies, including the elementary, middle, and secondary level, plus a great law program and an entire school of business. So like I said, definitely head over to our website to check out the programs and learn a little bit more about our areas of concentration as well. And Champlain is a professionally focused institution. And what this means is we wanna help students find and follow their passions, but also get a job doing so. And we know that when you are choosing a college, you are making an investment in your future. And we wanna let you know that a Champlain degree does pay off. So here on your screen, you can see that for the class of 2019, 88% of our students were employed or continuing their education within six months of graduation. However, the number that we are extremely proud of is out of the students who were employed, 100% of them were employed in a field directly related to their major or their career goals. So they didn't just have a job, but they had a job specifically in the industry that they went to Champlain for. And that really just shows how everything from upside down curriculum to having hands-on experience in the classroom to internships comes together so our students are prepared to take that step immediately upon graduation. Thinking about the application process and financial aid, Champlain does not have any application fees and you can either use the application on our website or the Common App, we read them both the exact same way. We did go test optional several years ago, so you do not need to submit any SAT or ACT scores unless you would like to do so. For financial aid, every single student is automatically considered for merit-based aid when they apply. However, to be considered for need-based aid, we do need to have that FAFSA information on file. I also want to mention that we do accept all outside scholarships that you receive, so we will not change our financial aid package if you do receive any of those outside funds. And we have the count on it guarantee, which means Champlain specific funding will remain with you all four years as long as you remain a full time student and that is not based on GPA. Thinking about some of the fun aspects as well, we do have over 50 clubs and organizations and over 20 club and intramural sports teams. One thing I do wanna note is Champlain is not a divisional school. However, we do have a range of club and intramural teams that you can get involved with. And our students are extremely busy, not only on our campus, but also out in the Burlington community as well. We are located right in Burlington's historic Hill District. And what's really nice about that is you are able to have about a 10 minute walk down to Lake Champlain. Um, Church Street, which is a huge part of the Burlington community is just a few minutes away from our campus. And we really want our students to get involved in the Champlain community and the Burlington community. And thinking about being in that historic Hill District, all of our first year students do actually live in one of 20 restored Victorian mansions. We have more images of these on our website, including some of the interior photos. So definitely something to check out. And then before I close our presentation on Champlain, I would again encourage you to come check out Champlain's website to learn a little bit more and also see what events we are offering, 
Um, currently, right now, everything is virtual, but we're looking forward to being able to open to visitors again, hopefully very soon. So thank you again, everyone. And I will be sure to drop my information in the chat, or you can message the general email account that you see on your screen. Thank you. Thanks, Hannah. And now that we've heard from all six colleges and universities, I'm going to invite our panelists to join me. Um, and we're going to answer one last question for our audience. So if you guys wouldn't mind answering in the order in which you presented in, what is your favorite event or tradition on campus? As a um, Chowan alum myself, my favorite tradition on campus would be the ringing of the bell when students, so when freshmen come in, they get to ring the bell that signifies their start here at Chowan University. And then also upon graduation, they also get to ring the bell again um, that signifies their ending at Chowan, that they're going out into the world or they're going to continue their education. Um, and do great things. So I think that would probably be my, my most favorite tradition here at Show One is the ringing of the bell. I would have to say that um, our, or well, my favorite tradition is called the final flip. Um, and this is every, uh, on a Sunday night, the week before finals, um, our students and our faculty will gather in our cafeteria for our final flip event which is where students are encouraged to come and just either like hang out with each other or hang out with our professors, kind of get answers to questions, but our professors also cook pancakes for them. That's where the flip comes in. So it's the final flip and it's just really a relaxing event. There's prizes um, given out for students that attend. There's karaoke going on and it's just a good old time kind of letting our students know, hey, everything's okay. Um, you're going to make it through this week. You're almost there type of event. So I would definitely say that that is my favorite tradition. So at Syracuse, we are the color orange. Our mascot is an orange and we all are cheesy dads with our cheesy dad jokes about oranges. So our um, TV station is Citrus TV. Our uh, newspaper is the Daily Orange. Our mascot, his name is Otto. He is an orange. Uh, we have Orange Seeds, which is a, a leadership group. Our acapella is our main squeeze and the mandarins. So any cheesy orange related pun, whether it's the fruit or the color, we love it. And so we love when our students come up with really fun and engaging and just hilarious names for things associated with oranges. And if you've never seen our college mascot, he is one of the coolest mascots in the NCAA. So definitely check out Otto the Orange. He's on Instagram. So my favorite tradition at William Peace is our graduation, uh, part of our graduation. On our main lawn, we have this iconic fountain that's been around for over 100 years. And the previous tradition, when we were a smaller all-women's institution, at graduation, all the women would stick their feet in the fountain and they would clean their feet. Now, with our graduating classes being much larger, um, it, we've changed it up where everyone is given a red rose. Um, and they, instead of sticking their feet in the fountain, they toss the red rose into the fountain. Um, and it's evolved even more and every spring we have a red rose ball um, where all the students get together uh, dress up in different fashions and kind of move on their way towards that graduation ceremony awesome so uh gardner webb we have something kind of similar to, to lr we have pancake bingo um and so that is the monday night of finals week so we all pile into the calf um and we just have endless amounts of pancakes egg sausage fruit coffee chocolate milk um and then we play bingo but it's incredibly competitive um because you're playing for things like uh tvs ipads keurigs Beats headphones. Um, so like I said, like I love Pancake Bingo. So the second semester of my senior year, it's the very last time I was going to be able to go. I was trying to convince my roommates to come with me. They were like, hope, like I've been studying all day. I have a final tomorrow. And I was like, too bad, so sad, we're going. Um, and I drug them with me and then my roommate won an Xbox that night. So I definitely take credit for that. Um, but that is definitely my favorite uh, activity that we have and kind of tradition that we have on campus. 
So for us, our two biggest clubs on campus are esports and unsurprisingly our ski and ride. So being in Vermont, definitely a lot of winter activities are enjoyed. And one of the things we do every single year is called Rail Jam. And basically it kind of kicks off the skiing and snowboard season, not only on campus, but also in the state of Vermont. So our skiers and snowboarders will come out and do tricks right on one of our quads. Um, if you're like me and not a huge skier, you also can just stand and watch and enjoy a lot of hot chocolate. Um, so lots of ways to get involved, but it really does kind of bring that excitement to the start of winter. And it traditionally happens towards the end of fall semester. So um, there's a good little break for everyone to come and get involved outside in the snow. Thank you all so much for sharing. Um, you definitely made me hungry and want to go back to college. So hopefully our students are feeling the same. Um, and thank you everyone for joining us this evening. When you close this window, there'll be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this was just one of many different sessions being hosted this evening. So please be sure to sign up for additional sessions happening after this. In about a week, you will be able to find this session's recording as well as all the others at strivescan.com slash carolinas. Thank you so much to our panelists and thank you everyone for watching. We hope you have a wonderful evening.